Hi guys, Sam from 3D here, and today we are going to create this beautiful render using our premium mockups, which you can find on our website. There are free versions available as well, along with many more resources. Ok, let's start by adding a camera. You can snap to a direct view using Alt, then Shift plus A and simply type camera. Let's move it a little. Place it like that. Now let's split our screen by simply pulling the corner of the window. We are going to use it for camera view. Now let's move it back, press G, Y and pull it backwards like that. And let's center our mockup. I will put zeros in location and pull it up. Press G, Z and pull it up. I think that should be fine. Let's add a background. Press Shift plus A. Add a plane and scale it up. S to scale. Press Tab, then press 2 to enter edge selection mode. Extrude this edge. Press E, Z and pull it up. Like this. We need to fill our camera. Now let's add another plane. Shift A, plane. Press Tab and delete 3 vertices. This will be our path for pillars. Put it somewhere here. Then press E to extrude it. Keep extruding. We need this object to show Blender where we need to place our pillars. That should be fine. You can press Shift plus B to smooth it. This will be useful to us in the future. Next, convert it to a curve. Right click with mouse, convert to curve. Let's add a cube. Shift A, cube. Press Tab, then S, after that Shift Z to scale all axes except Z. This should be fine. Nice, let's add a few modifiers. Add a curve modifier and select our new curve. If you can't get it, you can choose our curve here. Now our object will follow the curve. Add an array modifier, place it at the start. Adjust the X factor and count. And we should move it up. G, Z, same as always. Like this. We need to fill our camera with pillars. Just adjust count slider. Let's tweak our camera. Maybe we need little rotation. Alt to snap our view and press R to rotate. Let's make our pillar taller. Press tab to enter edit mode. Then press 3 to enter face selection mode. And select the top face. GZ, pull it up. Little higher. We need to fill that area. Next, copy the cube and curve and move them a little. You can choose two separate objects with holding control. Shift D to duplicate our objects. Press X to move it on X axis. Adjust the resolution to 4 to 3 and change the focal length to 150. Go to camera settings and there it is. Maybe we don't need the rotation, so let's move the camera back. Simply put Manti here, pull it backwards like that. Also, if you don't have that menu, press N. As you can see, we need again make our pillars taller. Once again, adjust the height of the pillars. This should be fine. Ok, let's switch to render view. Now for the lighting. Change the render engine to cycles. I prefer using GPU. For now, set the samples to 32. And we can use the noise with 32 samples as well. Go to the world settings and turn off the world light. Add an area light and a mesh plane. Shift I area. This will be our gobo light. And a mesh plane. I already have one, you can look for gobo textures online. As you can see, material needs correction. Switch to shader editor. Adjust the material slightly, place a color in the alpha channel and add an invert color node. Same here, shift plus A and just type invert. 
let's turn it by 90 degrees. And I move it away for now. Scale the plane a little and select both objects, then press Ctrl plus P and choose Object Keep Transform. Now we can control our plane with our area lights. Set the spread to 2.3 for now and change the power to 1000. By changing a spread values, we are making our light sharper. Position it behind the phone. Maybe a little higher. Scale it a little. Also, you can press Ctrl B to limit our render view. For now, we're just looking at our camera view and trying to figure out where to put our gobo. Add some rotation. Something like this should work. Add another area light for the backlights. R, X90, then R, C, 180. Place it behind the phone, scale it a little. You can use X-ray view here, by default it's all plus C. And set the power to 100. This should be fine. Finally, add a front light. We need to turn it to our phone. You can get creative with your lighting choices and try something you like. Place it in front of the phone and set the power to 100. Let's rotate the phone now. Press R twice and position it like that. Maybe we need to move our background. This is the part where your small choices create a scene to your liking. Move Gobo a little. Something like this should work. Scale the backlight slightly. Press S, Z. Move the camera forward, G, Y and pull it forward. And let's experiment with our pillar position. Again, make it the way you want it. It's all about your creativity and taste. And refine the camera's position to get it just right. Scale the phone down to balance the composition. It's not necessary, but we can add a material to our floor. I'm going to use the Blender Kit add-on, it's free and you can find it online. For the floor, I'll use a napkin material. Simply click and we have a new material. Ok, I think we need to change spread to 1. This will make our gobo sharper. And let's move it up. Maybe add some scale. In fact, for composition, that's pretty much it. Finally, when we have our render ready, let's change the image on the phone screen. Select our screen. Simply update the image texture and choose your desired image. And that's it. We can also edit the location with this slider if you want to. Thank you for joining us. Check out 3D for free mockups and stay safe.